Come on, at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode. In this episode I'm going to try to make part three of the Polar Trek. And uh, as you remember from previous videos, the Polar Trek uh, was deleted due to a glitch and we had to resurrect it. And here we are with this passenger craft. It's, um, it was thrown together very quickly so I didn't really make it look pretty. It's somewhat of an, well it is an ugly duckling. As you can see, I have uh, the cheat toolbar on the bottom right hand side to indicate that no infinite fuel or no crash damage or any of that nonsense is turned on. Um, uh, the winners for the name of the craft, oh, or of the polar transport, was actually a combination of two. Rar. Rar? Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. RAR561. Uh, you put down the Polar Explorer and. Uh, holy crap. Uh, Try 3X the Noob Cake <laughs> had Challenger. And I really like these two names a lot. So what I did was I put them together. And the vehicle is now called Polar Challenger Explorer. Uh, I understand if that's a little strange or a little off kind of but it uh, it sounds okay I like it uh, let me your, leave me your comments below and see how uh, how you like that maybe uh, maybe I'll rearrange it or not but basically yeah the polar uh, the polar Challenger Explorer all right now everything that I've got going on here is sped up to 150 percent I'm trying to make this video under 30 minutes hopefully. There goes the marker for the Challenger Explorer that's up there. Jebediah is now the captain of this mission, so that's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so let me fast forward here. Alright, nice. So let's go ahead and unload the crew and load up the Polar Challenger Explorer. Now right here I try to eject the Kerbinauts, but unfortunately um, the nothing's working. There's like a glitch or something in the program. Plus the trees aren't showing up it's kind of bad so yeah I go ahead and I 
get out and just reset the whole game. There we go, that's better. That's more like it. You can see the trees, and most importantly, you can get the carbonats out of there. Alright, everybody's on board, we're ready to go. I'm gonna leave the VTOL craft right there, I'll just uh, recover it later. It's no problem. Crew is ready. Jebediah Captain is ready. Uh, pilot, navigation, science, communication, and engineering. We're ready to go. Let's get this road trip started. As you can see that um, in front of us is nothing but just a bunch of uh, little hills so we can take those no problem. This is really good ground actually. We can uh, cover a lot of ground here.
Now as you can see I'm checking to see how far we've been going so far and uh, from all the way out here we've already gotten pretty far and that's of course thanks to the ground I mean the ground is really nice so um, if we get more ground like this we'll be able to get there probably quicker than uh, anticipated however that mountain range is going to be a problematic situation so yeah hopefully it goes well Alright, well I know it hasn't been 30 minutes for the actual video, but in in this recording it was just just above 30 minutes, so I went ahead and uh, uh, found a nice little tree to park under to call it a night. Now, um, uh, re one of my subscribers <laughs> wanted me to go as fast as I could with this thing and test out its crashing capabilities which I will be covering soon, especially when we get to that mountain range. We'll have plenty of slopes to fly down at 50 meters per second, so it's going to be pretty fantastic. You want to stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's in 30 minutes. I mean, not in 30 minutes that you, you've experienced, but 30 minutes that I've experienced. So the first trek went over here, and we parked it right there. Then the second trek went across these mountains. It's a little shorter distance, mainly because we crashed twice on those mountains. They, they were quite treacherous. But uh, yeah, so was, if we get more ground like this, shoot, we'll be able to jet right on past these mountain ranges, get to this pass right here, make an immediate right. I'm not going to tempt fate and try to go over the larger mountains, so we're going to take the path of least resistance and hopefully, hopefully get there soon. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, the video or downloads, uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. I am Veos, signing off.